What happens when an NFL franchise has to declare for bankruptcy only two months before the season begins? Which forced the franchise to relocate across season having all current players opt out of their contracts and having even below average NFL players reject contracts. Your only option is to go out and sign a bunch of players that no other NFL team will want anything to do with. Welcome to the Rejects Madden 19 Franchise Series. Week 1 of the 2019 regular season, the moment we've all been waiting for. It's time for the Dublin Shamrocks to take the field in a competitive game, which is more than likely going to be an inevitable 0-16 season. We have some pretty important business to take care of before we actually get to the regular season. We have to cut a couple players, and of course, we have to sign somebody to try out for this episode. And not going to lie, something that's kind of worrying me. Like twice, I've gone through and had to sim this preseason game, and every time I back out, it doesn't save the result. So all I know to do is force an away win, so hopefully that doesn't mess up too much. Now it's time to make the final roster cuts, and we're actually going to be cutting five players off the roster instead of four. But first, since Tim Tebow did in fact make the team after his tryout contract, the Shamrocks did elect to extend his contract to a full three-year deal worth the league minimum. Same thing with Dre Archer, his contract's extended to a three-year deal worth the league minimum. Now time for the roster cuts. You guys decided who we cut from the team. And first of all, Blake Sims with almost 42% of the total vote. You guys don't like Blake Sims apparently, so he is going to be the first player cut from the team. Secondly, it's gonna be our actual highest overall quarterback on the team, Mark Sanchez. You guys didn't want him on the team either. With 33% of the total vote, Mark Sanchez is gone into free agency. And next, this was an interesting one because this is only going to leave us with two defensive tackles on the roster. But you guys, for some reason, don't want Luis Trinka Passat. He had 8% of the total vote, which is good enough to get him cut from the team. So he is going to be released. Two more to go. And of course, a Daryl had to go with 5% of the vote. Well, roughly about 4.3% of the vote. Daryl is going to be gone. And the fifth most voted for is Trey Griffey. He is going to be cut from the team with 4% of the vote. I mean, we already have five wide receivers, and not like a lot of people wanted him cut. It's just the fact that he came in fifth in the poll. So King Griffey Jr.'s son, Trey Griffey, he's going to be gone as well, as we actually can move him to the practice squad. So we'll go ahead and do that and not just release him. And something I am so confused about, going into free agency, I was looking at the available free agents, and Tevin Coleman, an 88 overall running back, is a free agent. He, of course, won't come to Dublin, but I just found that interesting nonetheless that Tevin freaking Coleman, almost a 90 overall running back, is just sitting in the free agents. With that said, officially, we can finally advance into the regular season. But we still have to sign somebody to fill out this roster. Here we are. Regular season week one versus the Houston Texans. Our home opener in the first ever official home regular season game in Dublin Shamrock history. But before the action begins, we do have to sign a player to an NFL tryout contract. And that is going to be a player you guys have been blowing up in the comments section. He's not necessarily going to be brought in at the position you guys wanted, but he's going to be tried out to the team nonetheless. Laquan McGowan, the huge former tight end slash fullback slash offensive lineman from Baylor. Hooking up with his former teammate Sean Oakman, the former Baylor dynamic duo. Together, the add them up way about as much as all our skill position players combined. But you guys wanted him. He is going to be signed to the team. And starting this episode, though, there is going to be a straw poll. You guys have to decide whether or not the player actually makes the team each episode. So there will be a poll in the description box below. So you guys watch the gameplay and vote if rather you think Laquan McCowan did enough to make this team or not. And just like the other ones, is on a league minimum NFL tryout contract. If he does make the team, will be extended to a three-year deal worth the league minimum. Laquan McGowan, definitely an interesting figure and brings an interesting skill set to this team. But he does sit at 6'7", 410 pounds, and unfortunately in Madden, it only goes to 400 pounds. So to make this team, he had to drop about 10 pounds. But 400 pounds easily makes him one of the heaviest players in NFL history. And his stats... They're, uh, they're interesting nonetheless. Okay blocking stats with 75 lead block, 71 impact block. Not the fastest man in the world. You know, I would never think a 410 pound man should have more than 58 speed. He does sit at a 59 overall. His strength is easily his best stat at 93. 
57 excel. Pass blocking's kind of not good. Decent carry at 65. His uh, blocking finesse stats aren't the greatest. He has 60 catching, so that could come in handy. 66 ball carrier vision. And the rest are pretty bad. But this is the first time ever he's been a part of an NFL team. Went undrafted out of the 2016 NFL draft. Signed with the CFL team. Didn't really make it there. Once again linked up with his teammate, Sean Oakman, with the triangle torch. The state of this team. Second player we've signed to this roster that has played for the Triangle Torch. The last team he played for was the Carolina Cobras of, let me get this correct, the National Arena League. The National Arena League. So, the Dublin Shamrocks are fielding players that have played in the National Arena League. But Laquan McGowan, 25-year-old rookie, is going to be battling Glenn Gronkowski for the starting fullback job. You gotta remember, Glenn Gronkowski is the brother of Robert. He is pretty athletic himself, but for the fullback position, do we go with the more athletic guy in Glenn Gronkowski, more versatile, or we go with the big old man, 6'7", 400-pound Laquan? So make sure you vote in the description box below whether you think Laquan makes the team or not. And also in the comments, don't forget to leave your suggestions for next episode's tryout player. We also have to cut a player as well. Next episode of Laquan does make the team, so leave your suggestions for what player we should cut as well. And also, one thing I didn't even think about, and I'll leave it up to you guys, we have to set a team captain. I want to set one team captain on offense and one team captain on defense. I'm once again just going to leave it up to the comments. So suggest which two players you think should be our team captains in the comment section below. The Packers. The Green Bay Packers get Tevin Coleman out of free agency. What the heck was he doing in free agency in week four of the preseason? So I guess we've done enough stall in this series. It's finally time to see how bad this team actually plays in a game that counts. But if you guys did miss last episode, this is your Dublin Shamrock starting offense. And here is your Dublin Shamrock starting defense. Absolutely beautiful. Definitely need to improve on this 32nd team success rating. 56 overall versus 81 overall. I am a scared boy. Oh my. Look at this defensive end comparison. A little bit different on the talent scale. Oh god. This is bad. Oh beautiful Dublin Ireland. With the fans going to pay witness to an absolute beatdown. Or I mean... Uh, at the end of the day, I just hope this game is somewhat close, somewhat entertaining. Oh, Jamarcus Russell, what can you do in your first official NFL start for the first time since I think like the 17th century? Rory Coleman, time to begin another chapter in his book. Hopefully it's one where he doesn't get cut off his team, but he gets cut off this team. Oh, God. I'm not sure if he loves me or not. Really quickly, just want to look at the state of this Texans team. Sean Watson in 84, running back Lamar Miller, better than what we have. Yep, wide receiver core, also a little bit better than what we have. Offensive line's a little underwhelming, so maybe we can take advantage of that. Didn't J.J. Watts hurt? Yes, he is. So thank God we don't have to deal with him. Been looking around a little bit. Can't really tell any off-season acquisitions for this team, but still a much better team than what we have. Oh, of course, big old McCowan. He's on the kickoff team. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, look at him over there. Look at him ready to wreak some havoc. Where is he? Look how slow he is. Come on. Oh, God. How's our defense going to do? They're going to move the ball. Just need to try to limit him to as few points as possible. Oh, wide open DeAndre Hopkins. 97 overall DeAndre Hopkins being covered by a guy with the last name Virgin. After a false start, as a first down of 15. Let's see if we can actually get him in the backfield here. Hey, who was that? Who's the man with the tackle? That was actually Prince Charles Irora with the tackle in the backfield. So second 16 is a false start, a one yard stop is back. The screen, no way! Frank Zombo, Frank Zombo, the man with the interception! Deshaun Watson, what was that? Deshaun Watson throws an, it was a, the worst screen pass I've ever seen. The worst setup screen pass. Frank Zombo, Lamar Miller, wasn't even looking. But what a first possession defensively and first ever possession on either side of the ball for this Dublin Shamrock team. Ends up with an interception and us with the ball at the 50-yard line. Deshaun Watson, what are you doing? The screen pass, the beautiful screen pass on Madden. The running back just always gets mixed up in between the linemen. Frank Zombo, I think there was three players I could potentially got the pick there. But old Frank, one of the surprise starters for this team, gets the pick, big play. He might be about 45 years old, but he still has heart. Let's make the most of this opportunity. Have the ball at the 45-yard line. 
might be the only time we have the ball in plus territory. No idea why Croissant isn't on the field and Trent Richardson is. But let's not ask questions. We got here one way or another. Oh, Trent Richardson breaking tackles. Trent Richardson, a nice four-yard gain. So I think I need to mess with the formation subs because for some reason, Croissant is not on the field in certain formations. But look who it is. The main man of the episode, Laquan. What type of block can you get for me, son? I like it. I like it a lot. Lining up in the pistol again, third and a four. We may or may not be in field goal range. Let's just make sure we don't go backwards here. Make sure we don't go backwards. You know what? B's open a little bit. Chad Johnson actually dropped the ball. I said he was open. Really, he wasn't open. Nobody was open. Can we try a field goal here? 56 yarder. How's the wind like? 12 mile per hour at our face. Gotta call a timeout. I'm gonna go for it. Thinking about it, as in my mind, I see that last play in slow motion replaying in my head. Probably could have scrambled and got that first down. We have another chance here. Fourth down and four. Let's get it. Let's get it. Wise open. No. Who did it? Oh my god, they knocked the ball down. We had so many men wide open. Oh man, we had the slant pattern wide open over the middle of the field. Jamarcus Russell, you were not named the starter to throw wide open passes into the back of our offensive lineman's helmet. I was thinking at least somebody on their defense batted the ball down. Not thinking you would just throw a wide open pass into the back of Greg Robinson's head. Bring pressure again. Lamar Miller is going nowhere. Clog in the middle is our defense. Second down to 10. It's going to be a play action. That's actually not a play action pass. But Lamar Miller's going nowhere. Our run defense playing at a juke code 10 out of 10 in this first quarter. Third down and 12 though. Play action pass from Deshaun this time. It is actually a play action pass. We actually get pressure on the quarterback. Our defense is playing in a way they did not the whole entire preseason. I cannot believe we've been on the field for two defensive drives and it's still a scoreless ball game. Unbelievable scenes in Dublin, boys. Unbelievable scenes. Second down and eight. Got a slant pattern. Jamarcus Russell's release is so slow. Well, uh, don't really know what to say here. Third down and eight. Got to make the most of this, man, because I would be willing to bet we're not going to make a stop the rest of the game defensively. Got pretty lucky up to this point. But let's see if we can get one more big play. Tim Tebow. Jamarcus Russell. Tim Tebow's wide open. Tim Tebow was wide open for that first down. Jamarcus Russell really threw that about 15 yards behind him. Bringing pressure on the quarterback. We actually got to him. We're forcing errant throws. Oh, God, they're going five wide. I think that might have been another false start. Where was this luck in the preseason? The guy is genuinely, really don't know how long this is going to last, but I like it. As long as we don't get blown out, we make these scores a little bit respectable, I'll be somewhat happy. Make sure we have these guys over the middle. Deshaun Watson going in. Oh, he doesn't fumble, but it is going to be a third down. Oh, boys, here we go. Third down and ten. Can we get, like, another stop? I don't know if we can or not. Deshaun Watson scrambling. A wide open man. Lamar Miller runs backwards. That's going to be our third consecutive defensive stop. Miracles, boys, are happening in Dublin. The luck of the Irish is definitely on our side in this first quarter. At least defensively. I mean, offensively, it's still an absolute just travesty. Just going to bleed the clock out and just remind ourselves that we've actually got into the second quarter of the first game of this season in a competitive game, and we're not losing. Yet, we've only, we haven't scored a point. I don't even think we've got a first down yet. McGowan out of the backfield. Big man with the catch. We get six yards, a first completion of the game. Takes five attempts. I mean, this was our most productive play offensively in the entirety of the preseason. Fullback dive. Perfect scenario for it. McCowan's going to get the handoff. Big boy putting in some work in his first game. In his, his tryout game as a Dublin Shamrock. Hand up up the middle. Oh, ineffective. Fourth and two. Oh, we've got a punt. The fact that we've kept this offense to no points allowed thus far in this ball game is insane. Lamar Miller in the backfield. Dude, our run defense is incredible thus far. But now that I think about it, like I said, their offensive line is pretty bad. We are bringing pressure a lot in this ball game. And all it takes, though, is one play for their offense to beat me downfield. The second down and 10 here. Got this covered pretty well. Will Fuller hangs on to the catch, continuing to try to pressure the young quarterback, Deshaun Watson. Oh, God, we blitzed. Not getting any pressure, but he is doing some crazy stuff outside the pocket. Oh, Mark Herzlick with the sack. Deshaun Watson doing some crazy stuff. Had all the opportunity in the world to throw that ball away. But thank God he's a young man with not a smart brain. And it is going to be second down and 11. Second down and 11. It's going to be another play action pass. They love their play actions. We have everybody covered. Come on. Can, oh, Deshaun Watson's running. Can we make him fumble? We can't. But Deshaun Watson's getting a little bit too antsy in that pocket. But that's good for me. Can we hold the Texans to a scoreless drive 
one more time. Oh, please. Oh, please. Wide open man. DeAndre Hopkins, 97 overall. Picks up the first down. Guys, you don't even understand. You don't even understand how badly I want to win with this team. At least our defense is playing somewhat promising. Oh, God. Jack Doyle with the catch. Texans going five wide. Maybe Deshaun Watson will scramble again here. Oh, why is he so open? DeAndre Hopkins. How was the man so open? D. Miller, that is absolutely pathetic. What are you doing here? He just stops. He just stops and watches him run down the field, right past him. And uh, if it wasn't for Prince Charles, it would have been a touchdown. Here it is, goal line defense from the one yard line. And then we do have two really big defensive tackles in Sean Oakman and Terrence Cody. What can they do here? Can they cause some penetration up the middle? Get the running backs in the backfield. Sean Oakman! Oh. Every time I say something about our defensive tackles being big, they always allow runs right up the middle. Mar Miller, touchdown. Oh, it was a good run, boys. Oh, big boys in the field, and the kickoff returns as well. He's just so slow. Two-minute drill for Demarcus Russell. I mean, he's been an absolute joke in this first half, so hopefully he can make it up to us right here with a minute and 13 seconds left to go in the half. Oh, the pressure. This route combination was pretty effective in the preseason, so we'll try it here for the first time in this ball game. Second down and 10. Tim Tebow down the seam. First down, Tim Tebow. His first recorded catch as a Dublin Shamrock brings us close to midfield. Jamarcus Russell completing passes to Tim Tebow. Who would have ever thought? First and 10 here. Oh, Tebow's open again, but oh, Jesus. Jamarcus Russell, come on now. Give me some time, give me some time. Corey Coleman on the comeback. Oh, he has the awareness of a dead rat. I mean, truth be told, we had some men open the last couple plays. Just wasn't really executed to perfection. Third down and 10 here. Let's see. Chad Johnson. Oh, that's, that's a pick. Thank God Chad Johnson got a hand on that. It's going to be fourth down, and I'm so upset because that drive had so much potential. You know what? I'm going to do it. You guys might think I'm insane, but you got to keep in mind. I don't know how many times in this series we're going to almost be at halftime, only down by seven. Fake punt with Pat McAfee. Didn't get this to work in the preseason. Maybe it takes for the regular season for it to actually work. We have open men. Open men. Vinny Sinceri with the reception all the way down to the red zone. We did it. We actually did it. Who would have thought with 30 seconds left in the first half, we'd only be down by seven and 20 yards away from tying the ball game. We've at least got to get points here. Oh, I see the post. Give me two seconds. Give me two seconds and we have a touchdown. No, I had a ton of guys underneath. But uh, I was going for the big ball there. Going for the big one. Oh, no. No way. No way am I going to actually just give this up. Oh, boys, call me stupid. Call me whatever you'd like, but I'm taking the points. The state of this offensive line, the state of my playmaking ability, and my brain, like I don't trust myself. 12 mile per hour win at our back. Didn't get full power, but that should be good. And it is. We score the first ever points in Dublin Shamrock history. Must be something in the air overseas in Dublin. Roberto Aguayo somehow just made a 50 plus yard field goal. So boys, it wasn't pretty. Was not pretty at all. But it's only a four point ball game going into halftime. Seven to three. Defense, phenomenal. Offense, an absolute just it's shambles. Absolute shambles. Oh, we're going to get holding call. Who's the culprit? Guarantee it's Albert Hainsworth. Absolutely guarantee. I just I don't quite understand how you can be called for holding. The play hadn't even lasted for like negative two seconds at that point. Greg Robinson, second down and 13. Tim Tebow down the seam again. Needs a good throw. Oh, he can't hang on. Well, boys, let's see what we can do right here. Third and 13. Oh, my. We have Chad Johnson. Chad Ochocinco with the first down, and I'm pretty sure. We're going to get 15 yards added on to the end of the run as it is going to be a personal foul face mask against the Houston Texans. Lost two yards in the previous play, so a second down and 12 here. Just got to keep moving the ball forward. Hopefully at least get in the field goal range again. Oh, my. Throw the ball to eight. That's going to be Justin Blackman drops the ball. Third and 12. We might need to look for a short pass here because we need probably like seven or so yards to be in field goal range because the wind is 12 mile per hour at our face right now. So that's not good. Let's just get some yards. Let's do something productive. B's gonna be open. B's open. Please hang on. That's Corey Coleman with the catch. First down and more to the 22. Boys. Boys. 
Never in a million years did I think we'd be in this predicament. Short, quick, easy read. Second and ten. Ray Rice. So much space. Ray Rice with the catch. Can we do it again? Tim Tebow on the drag. Tebow upfield. Tebow's going to pick up the first down. We have the ball at the ten. Ten yards away. Ten yards away from taking a lead. To Marcus, you've made so many mistakes in your career. Don't make another one. First and goal. No pressure. Oh, my. Nice blocking, Greg. Not your best of predicaments. Third and goal from the 15. No mistakes. Please take the field goal, boys. Oh, I'm not liking this. We'll just hit our fullback. McGowan down to the five. Oh, some part of me does want to go for this, but I have to be smart. Seven to six. Seven to six going into the fourth quarter, boys. I mean, we might end up losing. More than likely, we are going to lose. Like, our run defense is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful all game long as we head into the fourth quarter only down by one I mean, seriously we've just been blitzing all game long and it's been pretty effective they're continuing to run football oh god open field tackle from d virgin what a play if the virgin doesn't make the tackle there there was a lot of green grass for lamar miller here's our chance oh god deandre hopkins he ran backwards oh you've got to be kidding me you've got to be kidding me i'm pretty sure it's going to be a face mask and i'm pretty sure it would have been a fourth down none though oh it's going to be a face mask Oh, I'm upset. That would have been a fourth down. Sean Oakman, why? Going to continue to bring pressure, though. Deshaun Watson, please, can we get to him? He's throwing that beautiful comeback route from Will Fuller. Somebody on this defense has got to step up and make a big play. Been playing good all game long. We need one more. Oh, wide open Will Fuller. Our secondary's falling apart. Playing nickel here. Protecting the sticks. Third down and 16. Nothing gets past you. Nothing gets past you. I'll be okay with the field goal. That's fine with me. Me even better. He stripped the ball. Incomplete pass. Fourth down and 16. They've got to kick this field goal. Got to keep in mind it is a pretty heavy win in their face here. But more than likely they're going to make this. But it's still only going to be a four point game. Can we get there? No we can't. Ball right down the middle. It's a f oh, 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 oh. No. No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh are you... Uh-uh. What type of roughing is this? This is a penalty. Guys, this is a penalty. I'm so upset. I am so upset. Oh, we're falling apart in every phase of the ball game. Losing our composure. Oh, my. At least we're playing good run defense still. Gonna do exactly what we did last time. Gonna protect the sticks. Allow anything underneath. A minute left to go. They're gonna run the football. Gonna be all over it. Mark Herzl. Oh, get him. Virgin with the tackle. Now we're gonna use our timeout. Now they're going to have to kick another field goal. Justin, do not do what you did last time. Basically, all we did was lose a timeout. Do not dive this time. Lose a timeout. Lose about a minute on the clock. There's still a chance. Oh, who is it going to be? None other than McGowan. What if he brings it back? What if he actually brings this back? Oh, look at the state of that spin move. Look at the state of this spin move. Oh, boy. Genuine nerves running through my veins right now. A minute left to go. Down by four. Do the rejects have it in them? Well, they have it in them. What kind of overthrow was that? Oh, it's going to be a sack. Nobody's open. Miracles are needed, my boys. Big, big miracles. Somebody's got to get open here. Nobody's open, man. Nobody's open. The state of this team, man. The state of this team. Fourth down and 24. Oh, this is... This, oh, this takes some sort of miracle. Somebody, somebody, get open, please. I beg of you. I beg of you, Corey Coleman, stay in bounds. No. No, he didn't stay in bounds. Are you kidding me? Corey, no. Corey, no. That's how we're going to end it. Oh, boys, I'm so sad. Honestly, so freaking sad. It was a catch. But who? it doesn't matter. He could have just stayed in bounds. We had a shot. But ultimately, our god dang offensive line is what ended up being the difference maker. Only a four-point loss. I can't believe it. That's officially going to do it from Dublin. As your Shamrocks drop the first game in team history by four to the division rival Houston Texans 10-6. to Now, as much as I just want to say I'm proud of the team, and the fact that we only lost by four, our defense, man, how beautiful of a game. What a performance. But our offense, absolute shambles.
absolute freaking shambles. If our offense resembled anything of a half-beaten pulse of a dead anteater, we might have actually won that game. But man, at least it was somewhat promising. Just up sex. I really don't know how many games we're actually going to be able to play this close. Oh man, I'm just so upset at myself. So many sacks we shouldn't have taken. But I do have to say though, a lot of freaking passes to Marcus Russell overthrew. It was just errant throws. Just unbelievable. Funny, Ray Rice, our leading rusher, with 12 yards. The leading rusher in the whole entire game, that is. Leading receiver in this game was DeAndre Hopkins with 71 yards. Our leading receiver, Corey Coleman, with 41 yards. And then second, our freaking free safety, Vinny Sinceri, with 31 through the air. Defensively, Prince Charles led us in total tackles. And total tackles for loss, too, with three. And uh, Mark Herzig with two. And Frank the Zombie with two. And Roberto Aguayo actually made both field goals in this ball game with a long of 53. All we can do at this point is advance into the next week against the New Orleans Saints. And let's see if our defense can play at least half as good as they did in week one. Do we have anybody that can be upgraded? It looks like not even one. Not even one Shamrock with the state of these ratings can be upgraded after that first week. I went to go look at the players of the week, and I kind of wish I didn't because Drew Brees is still in the NFL and still one of the best players in the NFL. NFC Player of the Week, Week 1 on offense through four passing touchdowns. But guys, I think that's going to do it. A pretty, I mean, uh, it is an ugly performance. Halfway effective. But I guess, I mean, who cares if it was halfway effective? It wasn't effective all the way because we didn't get a win. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the first episode. If you did, make sure to drop a like. Be sure to vote in the poll in the description box below. Rather you think Laquan McGowan did enough to make this team on a full-length contract. Also, leave your NFL tryout players for next episode in the comment section below. Also, leave the players you do think need to be elected to offensive and defensive team captains. And also, let me know a player you think I need to cut if McGowan is to make the team. Guys, that is going to do it. Be sure to subscribe if you are new. Drop a like if you did enjoy. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. God bless and peace.